All right, we're gonna to try to draw these three boxes on our paper using what we did before, finding the orthogonals already. And I did this on paper as well as doing it on the computer, so um, you can use either one to help you. So it's a little easier for me to see. So as you can see, if I was gonna draw this on my page, the orthogonals go pretty far out, so if I wanna get everything on my page, my boxes actually have to be pretty small, maybe just like a little bigger than these boxes. So, um, I want to keep this piece of paper stable, and I'm going to use, find it's moving around, you might have to tape it down. Use this as an example to find my orthogonals. It's pretty good. Okay, and now the other one. If you feel like your paper's moving, tape it down. Get some tape, tape it down to your board. I don't trust that my paper's not moving. <laughs> See, I feel like it's just moved. Okay, it's moving totally. Okay, so now, I have a little bit of a sniffle going on. I think a little cold, nothing to be alarmed at. All right, so the next um, one goes like here, basically. Oops, I just moved my ruler. You gotta be careful, sometimes the rulers slip. Not intentionally, for sure. Okay. So, something is definitely off here because that's not going. My horizon line, this is gonna go really far out is the problem. And that's okay, I guess. It's gonna go really far out. So it goes something like that. So I have to draw the like middle line and it should be directly parallel with the sides of my page. So that'll actually help me figure out where these lines should go. Because as you saw when we did two burnt perspective, we started with that middle line. I feel like the middle line is the easiest thing to start with. And you know, these just probably aren't gonna meet for like a long time off on the horizon. You know, this will meet far sooner because we see less of this left side. So then I'm gonna figure out, and how do you figure out how wide these boxes are? There really is no exact way to tell. So you're just gonna have to guess kind of a little bit there. And this side, just make sure that these are parallel with each other. And then um, this would go back to the, the same point that that will but you actually won't see this, this area because it's being overlapped by this other box on top of it. Um, which, now that I have this here, I can't draw a line to this at the orthogonal. Oh well, um, anyway. So I do see that perhaps this is a little off here. Yeah, this should be a little bit more straight like that. So do this in pencil, obviously. I mean, you're gonna be doing yours in pencil, but um, because you're gonna to wanna to make changes because things are gonna be wrong. It's really hard to keep your pencil exactly, I mean, your ruler exactly the same way as your images. So just do your best. You can see that correcting this a little bit more now. Erasing some of these lines. Okay, and it looks to me, and I'm drawing my lines darker than you probably should. I'm trying to do that so you can see my lines. But I would keep your lines actually very light in the beginning because you don't want them to, um, you know, if they're wrong, you don't want them to show up. <laughs> and you want to be able to correct them. All right. So the next box is actually uh, in one point perspective. And it looks like, it's hard to see. Let me look at the bigger image because I can't see anything. Okay, so I got this little guy. You see this guy? It's not too bad, not too shabby. I mean, I think maybe if you can look at this, like we can also test this way. Hmm, maybe that needs to go down. You know, it's hard to keep it the same, but try. That's about right. Okay, and um, this side, does this side look right to you guys? What do you think? Actually, no, who knows? This is totally parallel with my page. 
You can see, I think it's, my page is moving as I'm doing this. It's hilarious. Okay. We'll just do the best we can. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so the next one, you can see this is in one point perspective, right guys? Because we have the face here, the box, and not, we're not looking at the corner. So I'm just gonna try to overlap it about where it overlaps, just about here, to get an idea of the face. Because it does come over like a little bit in that corner, you can see. And then draw a straight line up. It has to be parallel with the other guys, so you might wanna look at another guy to see it. Um, same with this other one. So this you can see, it actually looks like it's kind of lining up with that corner there. So maybe we'll just do that. We'll line it up about with that corner. Maybe we could go a little further over, like about there. Okay, and then we'll draw it flat, straight across. Luckily this point, the box is in one point, yay! Which is easier. Where's that eraser that I had? There we go. Um, okay, so, so now you can erase where that overlaps if you'd like. And where this overlaps, if you like. This box is in one point. So you have to take these, you have to make these lines going back into the, the point back there. And um, it's gonna be tricky. So I can either use this drawing, I mean this, this photo here, or the one below it to do that. And I'm gonna have to untape my, my drawing, my photo, because um, you can't really do it with it on there. Okay, so try to keep your page parallel and see if you can create that line. You might have to draw a little bit of it and just like test over and over again. Don't feel bad if you have to test over and over. Just a part of this, part of getting it right is just testing, testing again. So I tested and that didn't look as good. And be careful, like you saw probably that my paper just moved a little bit. Careful not to do paper move. Okay, that's about what I got from there. But I can also look at this one and see if that's accurate too, using the blue lines here. And see if those look, seem pretty accurate. Do they seem pretty accurate? See those blue lines? This is kind of interesting, I could even actually just Butt this up to my page and just kind of do it like that. Okay, um, so then I can take these two. Third, oh, I got to make sure my page is straight again. Logical conclusion, which should be at the horizon line because this is in one point perspective. So they should meet at the horizon line. And I can see now, I thought my horizon line was here, and then I thought it was here, and where is it? What's the truth? Well, you're gonna have to look back at your thing and try to figure out what the truth really is. Um, does this triangle look like it needs to be lower? Or does the other side need to be higher? And you gotta test and figure out who is correct. And one thing I found actually, what really helped me was actually doing the third box. Because sometimes you have to do more than one box to find out this stuff. You know, you may not know until you do another box. Don't be afraid if that's you. Okay, so let's try the next box and maybe that'll help us figure out where the horizon line is because I think this right side will really help us find that actually. Okay, so this box, where is that middle line? That middle line is actually probably about somewhere like here and it's coming over this box. So I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate where that middle line is a little bit. Oops, I brought it down way too far. I don't think it goes down quite so far. It just goes down a little bit. And I wanna find, use the lines, find the lines on the side. Now this has to be once again, parallel with my picture. Everything's gotta be parallel and it's really hard to do. Okay, now try again. So that's for the bottom line, right? Do it again, test. And I don't know if this is off screen for you guys, I hope not. Okay, um, so I'm testing and bringing it down. It might be off, it's pretty good. Okay, do the top. Now the top, all these boxes are about the same height. Maybe this top one actually looks a little bigger because of perspective, but they're about, should be about the same height. And you can even use a ruler if you really wanted to. I might just kind of do a little bit of this. Okay, so 
this guy probably needs to be a little bigger. And you can use your pencil. You can see I made that box maybe a little small. Okay, so now the top part. Um, figuring out that top angle, which could be tricky. If this is parallel, let's hold it. I hear my printer making some noises for me. Okay, um, let's see if I did that right. Now, it should look a lot like this green area right here, right? Mm, maybe a little bit over. And then the top part comes down maybe a little bit more. Oh, that meets pretty nicely, doesn't it? Okay, let's um, erase some of those lines. Okay, and actually that's really gonna help me figure out the horizon. Do you see how that's where that is? It's kind of in the same place as this guy. Okay, so make sure your page is parallel. My page is always looking crooked to me. Okay, because sometimes when you lean against your paper, luckily you're on boards. Um, so you can see that this needs to come up a little higher. And um, I must have just got that a little bit off. So I'll just raise that up just a little bit more. You can see where that meets. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now I just need the side of this box. Um, let's, let's figure out the other side. Oh, the other side goes really far off your page. Yeah, do you see that? How the other side goes. We can try to keep this, once again, parallel. The other side goes... Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong box. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> sorry about that. Brain is not in it. Okay, let's see. Is this totally... No, I don't think that was totally square with my page. Yep. So if it's not square with your page, it's going to throw everything off. Okay, so that's this line. And the top one, make sure it's square. Alrighty, let's do it. Whoop, don't move. <laughs> the ruler likes to move. So you can kind of see, maybe here, sorry it's a little messy, but these lines hopefully will eventually meet at the horizon line somewhere off in space. Now let's just draw the side of that box. Um, it goes a little further out, so I'm just going to kind of guess where it is here. I just make sure that my line here is parallel with the other lines. Draw the other side of the box. Um, it goes, it actually lines up kind of about with the other side, so I'm just going to do that, keeping it parallel. And then you can connect back for the top here. This should also go back into space. You probably want to use your drawing once again, or your foot, sorry, your printout to kind of see what that's doing. So it goes back, and the other side, you can kind of as long as this is parallel with the page, you can use it to see what you're doing. It goes off this way. Okay, so you can see it goes off. It actually should hit, quite honestly, right there. So you can correct that. That's where it should be. All right, so now you have three boxes. This one and this one are in two point, and this one's in one point. This box looks a little bit too like intense in terms of the perspective. And what I think I probably got off was one of these two lines. Now maybe you can look at it and you can tell me which line you think I got off. Well, I guess you can't answer me, can you? But um, what I would say is the bottom line looks way too extreme. Do you see that? And I don't know if I just didn't have this parallel with my page or what I did wrong there, or maybe I was just having a weird moment. But... Um, <laughs> You can see that the box needs to go far further up here and it's going to meet somewhere over there. So I was probably just having a weird moment. Happens. All right. So that's. So you also have to use your judgment here. You have to look at the boxes and see do they look rectangular? You can erase some lines in between if you like. All right. So that. Those are the three boxes. Yay. Oops. See that little corner? If you want that little corner in there. Guess where it goes? Over here. Line it up with that corner over there. Whoops, that's the wrong tool. Okay, so that would go all the way over here. Um, so there's that corner. All right, so this is your first uh, preliminary assignment for the test. 
Good luck. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine is far from perfect. This is, uh, it's got lots of mistakes and stuff. The important thing is that you work to get this correct and that you try to get it as correct as possible. All right, good luck. Thank you.